Now, surely, like me, you must have a crazy relative. You know, one of the ones that goes on about technology as if it's some voodoo. Who needs a mobile telephone? Modern technology just ruins you. Landline is more than sufficient. Otherwise, write a letter. Why don't you stop talking to this camera thing and talk to real people? Eye to eye, face to face. What is it with you kids these days and your technology? Yep, I got a relative like that. Now, in short bursts, you might be able to handle them every now and then coming and going. But what happens when things get ugly? You know, in this house, I blocked all social media because it's the work of the devil. You can take my Wikipedia, but you can never take my social media. Luckily, I have a workaround. Now, there's a relatively straightforward and non-technical way you can get around filtering. One of the first things you want to make sure is that your relative hasn't blocked Tor. Who dareth block Thor? I said Tor, not Thor. Tor is great for solving secrecy and privacy and you know that, that kind of issues. But to get around simple filtering, you can just use Lahana. Lahana? Lahana. How do you say it, Steve? What is Lahana, I hear you ask? Well, it's a simple and shareable VPN solution. There are two parts to using Lahana. You need to connect to a node and you need someone to set up the node. Connecting is pretty easy, but the node is, you need to be mildly technical. So I'll just call up one of my favorite uh, tech support guys. Hello IT, have you tried turning it off and on again? Hey dude, it's me, I've got a situation. Oh, hi there, let me guess, crazy relative, affirmative. Okay, I'll just set up the free Lahana nude for you using something something and some more technical jargon. Once that node's set up, it's relatively easy. You don't need specialized technical knowledge to configure a VPN on your iPhone or your Android or any other thing, whatever you're using. Now the beauty of Lahana is that it's really lightweight, really easily shareable and bypasses a lot of filtering. Secondly, if the crazy relative wants to block it, they either have to block all of Amazon's EC2, which means they'll probably lose access to a lot of their own site, or he can resort to blocking an individual Lahana node. But that's not really a problem, just a little bump in the wire because I can just pick up the phone. I need nodes, lots of nodes. A bunch of nodes coming right up. And really it's as simple as that. I mean, it becomes a game of whack-a-mole then. How many nodes can they shut down? You can use public nodes, that'll get you past filtering and stuff like that. If you want to share some documents, engage in chat secretly, then you might want to consider using a private node. However, if your crazy relative really is crazy and you want to stay off the radar completely, then you best use something with more security and privacy built in like Tor. Who wanteth to use Thor? Stay secure, my friends.